Leading local as storms moved across the state last night, Williston was hit hard. KX News reporter Malik Wilson spent the day there speaking with some of the people in the storm's path. There's no secret to the power of the storms that swept through last night, bringing in high speed winds, tons of rain, and in places like Williston, flooding. It's great that we get rain, but it's always better to have a slow soaking rain than to get the four to five inches all at one time in the storm. Mike Smith, the Williston and Williams County Emergency Management Director, says the pour down caused issues the city isn't used to. I know in the past we have had some street flooding, but. Um, I have never seen it like that before. Residents recorded the storm as it came through. Francisco Murillo, a Williston resident, was in shock with what he saw. So many cars that were just stuck, police officers trying to help, you know, fire department people just trying to help. Murillo says he even tried to help until things just got completely out of hand. I started seeing how deep the water really, really got in, in certain spots. And people was just getting stuck from left to right. One driver who got stuck says it was her worst fear come to life. I was terrified. That is one of my like biggest fears that could have ever happened. McKinney's car was swept away in the strong wind. It was tossed in a ditch of water. Water started coming in. It was up to my windows and started coming into my car. My car quit working and I couldn't get my doors open. And luckily I had rolled down my window and I had to crawl out of it. There were no reported deaths or injuries following the storm, but Smith says the list of damages is long, like torn up roofs and flip sheds. And we're still doing, you know, damage assessment and trying to uh, to see, you know, if there's any other things throughout the county that have been a problem. Which could take days or even weeks. Reporting for KX News in Williston, Malik Wilson. Other significant damages with the storm include two house fires that left two families displaced. The Williams County Emergency Manager says one of those house fires is believed to have been ignited by lightning.